Nope, you're not allowed in Tokpika anymore, remember? Loose dirt. Probably something shovelable. Step right up, step right up. Braid's the name and trades the game. You seriously doubt that his name is Braid. Howdy, Braid. What are you trading? Well, sir, today I'm trading soap for locks and a stick of dynamite for a needle. And to the cunning skinner who brings me three rattlesnake hides to that adventurous soul, I will trade a fine silver pocket watch. Well, how about free dynamite? I must admit that you drive a hard bargain, but I find your terms acceptable. Well, no trades light now. Thank you. Uh... Oh, yeah, he has a little frowning face. Hey, buddy, where's the bar? The woman glares at you. You should probably just let her drink. Who's the lady drinking whiskey out of a beer mug? That's Susie. She's the rancher from a nearby real tough broad. Uh, Rain recommend you pester her. She lost her whole family to a cow tag recently. Got some pent-up frustrations about it. Sorry, I'm trying to... I'm trying to keep everyone's voice consistent, but these characters are all monochrome and they're all stick figures, too. <laughs> Howdy, stranger. Welcome to Born Springs. I'm the sheriff in these parts. The what? The sheriff. Okay. Blast sign painters. You wouldn't happen to be looking for work, would you? Well, as a matter of fact, I am. Great, because I happen to have some. Game of hooglums around here and call themselves the Fricker Gang. Last I arrested one of them, they busted out and took the cell door with them. And, uh, well... The sale ain't much good without the door. And I need somebody tough, smart, and or slick to fetch it back for me. I'll give it a shot. Funny you should say that, because I'm sending the deputy along with you to keep you out of trouble. He takes a pistol out of his desk and hands it to you. Deputy, you deputized a gun? You're new in town, maybe you ain't noticed, but there ain't much to do here except drink. Let me write down the Fricker Gang's hideout for you. I'll be back with the door. Ooh, mug in here. And we have a map. The town of Boring Springs and the Fricker Gang's hideout. Oh yeah, we have to look for the outhouse as well. Which is behind the Orhole Mine, right. Dusty Turnip. Third Frick of the Fricker Gang's and Trip Lookout appears to be taking a little nap. We'll wake him up. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. That is, I'd say he's no Rhodes Scholars if we assume that it's seven years from now and that idiot makes any sense. You feel bad about the idea of killing him. Walk away, Thud. You don't want this life. Take a hike. Nah, yeah, probably right. Thud stumbles off into the desert. He'll probably be fine. Character sheet, right? Honorable options will be available in some situations. A beer barrel cactus. This is a skill that I think you can either read a book for or be a, a snake oiler for. We got a mug and a pair of silver cufflinks, which I think we can actually equip. If you want a fancy shirt, you might have some use for these. Also, pants, boots, ring, hand and off hand. And then we have a lapel. I don't know what it goes to. And then our hat. Presumably we're just wearing a shirt and the shirt is completely interchangeable. One of the Fricker boys is dozing in the bathtub. Can you pass the soap? He mumbles and hands you a bar of soap before sinking sleeper into the, sinking deeper into sleep in the tub. We'll time up. You grab a nearby length of rope and tie his hands together and then to the handles of the tub. The sheriff can come collect him later. You cautiously approach the Fricker gang. They're pretty engrossed in their poker game, so it doesn't actually require that much caution. You hide behind a barrel and you drop on the conversation for a while. The one with the eye patch is quiet, but you gather his name is Snipe, and the squirrely one is Brother Wick Wimpy. We can leave without alerting them. Howdy, boys. Deal me in. The one without an eye patch raises an eyebrow at you. Who are you? How'd you get past Thud and Soapy? What do you want? Here for the door. I'll show you the door. The door to hell. Right, it is. There's a lot of games wherein you can... You can talk your way past everything. So we can melee attack. We can shoot. We can cast Lava Fava. And Bean Shield. 
giving up is the same as losing. We can also throw dynamite, but we'll save that. We have one action point. And then we have, uh, you know, AP here. Nice. Right. Pardon me, everyone. If we die, we actually don't lose that much progress. Victory! The leaders of the Frickers Gang are dead by your hand. The sheriff will be proud of you, but you're not sure how your mother would feel. Gumption goes up to two. Another mug. 50 meat. Sure, cell door. It is actually possible to um, do a chunk of the game without killing anyone. There, There's this thing that happens in a lot of RPGs with this sort of thing, though. I love this art. This, I was talking about this when I played Hylex a few months ago in, I think, September. But, like... Man, come on. You don't need a whole bunch of really good art assets in order for your game to be fun or look good to play. I was playing something else recently. Sorry, I just literally want to check. Um, and, like, it was... It was just so... straight-up enjoyable. I played Loop Hero, I played Madfather. Space Funeral was the one that I was talking about. Space Funeral... Um, not to be impolite or put too fine a point on it, but Space Funeral looks like shit. Space Funeral is a maybe one of the ugliest games ever, but it works with the game itself, and the game is still pretty cool and interesting to play. And even though it's so short, um, you still have a lot of fun playing it. And there's nothing wrong with the way that the game is, strictly speaking. And it's just I want people. Stop putting all of your money into making huge, gigantic, 4K, Ultra HD, Nintendo hire this man, big Unreal Engine 60, like, setups. Just make something that is fun first. Maybe it can look good later. We'll work on that, huh? See, the Fricker Gang hasn't put a stop to your breathing. Did you rescue my cell door? Nice work, stranger. This prison cell here got about four times more secure. Any more Fricker boys for me left to round up? Why don't you sleep on the job? I'll round them up. Looks like I owe you a reward. Got one little task. If you got the kind, should be simpler than the last one. Frickers busted lock when they took the door. Gonna need a new one. Yeah. Braid is offering us a lock for the soap that we got. Grab a lock for my cell. Got one right here. That'll do nicely. Sheriff drops the lock on the cell floor and accidentally drops the key and it clatters into the cell. Don't suppose you know how to pick a lock, stranger. You got a needle handy? You deftly picked the lock. I unlocked it for you. The sheriff walks into the cell and picks up the key. He looks around for a place to hide it and sticks it under his hat. Thank you kindly, stranger. Born Springs ever get more criminals, they'd be able to watch out. That's a good job you done. Take this as a souvenir of your time in Boring Springs. We now have a replica sheriff badge. A plastic facsimile of the sheriff badge. He usually gives them to children who tour the jail. This goes on your lapel. Stomach will increase um, strength. Liver will increase uh, how much booze we can drink. And I think that affects magic. And spleen will affect potions. Food is strength and potions is... Uh, uh, potions is skills. Thanks, sorry. Uh, whoops. Found these mugs, 75 meat. Howdy, thank you. All right. Howdy, Susie. Howdy, cowboy. He's going to be searching the spittoon for his piece if you don't leave his teeth if you don't leave me in peace. Okay, bye. She glares at you. 
All right, we're looping. What do you say, Pete? Well, me, I say uh, all kinds of things, for instance. Ding, dang it, there's a leprechaun on my bedroll. Uh-huh. See you later, Pete. They don't have enough meat left to bother with. It looks like they're playing with for spiders now. All right. But yeah, there's a lot to be said for making a game that just looks good. How's it going? Lean in rightly. Later, Sheriff. Yeet. I remember that there's more that I can do. Right, we need to talk to the horseman. And I think he'll tell us where horses are. Afternoon, sir. What can I do for you? How's business? Oh, you know, every day I'm hustling. To tell you the truth, though, it's pretty terrible. All my horses keep running away, except for this ordinary one. Uh, that's rough. Maybe I can help. Oh, God, yes. Thank you. Please, I go fetch it myself, except for this injury. I'll give you 300 meat each for finding them. Three. Let me see your map. They pretty much run to the same places. Or hole. Boring Springs Boneyard and the Thousand Snakes Gulch. Uh, they like environments that are thematically appropriate. When you find one, feed some of these oats. That should send it back here. We got a bag of homing oats. How does that work? Uh, these are special pigeon-infused oats. So they dumped seed onto a bunch of pigeons and then grew those into oats. Pretty great, honestly. We got a shovel. Hey, look, he wasn't kidding. Not that this would be a really funny thing to kid about, but still. Ain't good work, but somebody's got to do it. Nasty work, rather. And a mug. We'll go drop that off just before. Let me give an example. So I love the game Fallout, and a lot of people are like, oh my god, Fallout, it's so cool, it lets you play the game without killing anyone. And I do appreciate that, and I think it's cool. There's meat ore in this cart. Empty meat. I do appreciate it, to be sure. Oh damn, should have got that. The mechanism is labeled cargo elevator control. Blast and cap storage, plungers, both kinds, tools. Where do you want to send it? We'll leave it alone for now and finish this out. Minecart is full. Dig through it. Unrefined meat nugget. This looks dangerous. At least there's no plunger hooked up to it. We'll go to level one. These crates are labeled blasting caps. The period is part of the label. That's why it's inside the quotes like that. I love that they mention it because that would ordinarily just be a goofy thing. We need a crowbar. <coughs> Pardon me. Thousand Snakes Gulch. Yipes. This snake looks sleepy, but it's not that sleepy. I like this uh, uh, layout, by the way. Lava fava. Let's just try to kill it quick. Nice. One hit point, cool. You have slain a snake. Before long, they'll call you Snake Murder in Arizona. Yeah, so sometimes you can get through a uh, another snake. Well, it's not called One Snake Gulch. I like that, um, the way that the game works is that, uh... Like, you just get reset every battle. That's really cool, because that helps to encourage the player to continue... Meat Nugget. Just sail it. The snake looks angry. You're going to need every trick in the book to beat this one. Well, I'm good at tricks. efficient, actually. Yeah. 
certainly for something like this. Yeah, one thing about me is that I, I really just enjoy combat, and so in some games where like people are like, oh, it's so cool that you can just talk through everything, I really do enjoy just that I can shoot my way out. Sometimes I just prefer that, in fact. And sometimes it's a shame because like I'm missing content and I'm seeing I'm I'm seeing stuff that I could see in any other game. Grit go up. If this whole cowboy thing doesn't work out, you get a job as a snake exterminator. This horse is snake crazy, or maybe he was some other kind of crazy before. Hey there, boy. Hey fella, I'm a friend, okay? Nyar. It's cool, alright? Be cool. Don't forget him. Really? But look him in the eyes. You calmly look the horse in the eyes. One of them is fixed in a glassy thousand-yard stare, and the other is revolving madly in its socket like it's trying to escape in every direction simultaneously. He seems to be calming down a little bit now that it's clear you aren't actually made of spiders, though. We'll pat his nose. You carefully and gently pat the horse's nose. He twitches a bit. Not a lot. But he seems to recognize you aren't going to eat his eyes or suck out his soul or whatever madness is bouncing around in that skull of his. Good boy. <laughs> Hungry boy, I got a treat for you. You feed the crazy horse some of the homing oats, and it gallops away with a whinny. Or rather, <laughs> hopefully it's headed home and not into the twelfth dimension. Simple enough. 